I'm going to do a skeletal rundown version 2. The other skeleton did not have this bone. The mandible. This bone is the cranium. The first is the atlas. The second is the axis. These are the cervicals directly behind the cervicals with the ridges over the top. Are the thoracics, thoracics, thoracic vertebrae. You have the lumbar vertebrae, skipping the pelvic region, on down with the tail area. These are caudal vertebrae. Inside the pelvic region, this bone with the fused vertebrae is the sacrum. On the opposite side of the sacrum, protruding out, this is the pubis pubis bone. The top half here on the edges is the ilium. And in the bottom half here is the ischium. Beginning on down, this area here is the head of the femur, and this is the femur. On the opposite side here, the little bone floating. Tella, the kneecap. Moving downward. The larger of the two bones in front is the tibia. The smaller of the two. is the fibula. And they come to a point and meet this bone protruding out of here. Is the calcaneus. Move on down to a series of small bones here. In between the calcaneus and these longer bones. And these are the tarsals. Which lead into the metatarsals. Down at the bottom are the phalanges 
Phalanges also occur in the front, which gives us an opportunity to move back up our front legs. Okay. These longer bones up here are the metal, excuse me, the metacarpals. You have the metatarsals, metacarpals, which then would lead into a series of small bones in the front called the carpals. These fall in alphabetical rule here on these larger bones. the radius and behind it the ulna the large bone up top the humerus this indentation where the humerus connects to this large wing-like bone the glenoid fossa. Speaking of the large wing-like bone, the scapula and here the spine of the scapula. Ribcage section This rib back here is a floating rib, whereas these are true ribs. The connecting part is the false rib. And back here, this piece, is the xiphoid process. In between the xiphoid process, you have a series of bones that connect to the false ribs called sternobrae, why we abbreviate it as sternum. last piece in between, or excuse me, after the in-betweens, it's called a manubrium, manubrium, M-A-N-U-B-R-I-U-M. I'm double checking the list to see if I missed any here out of 36. Looks to be that that is the list of need to know bones for mammalogy on the skeleton, in this case, of the cat.